Hello everybody, my name is Ever the Jester, and I've got a few things that we need to talk about first before the video gets into effect. Firstly, we have reached 1,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I have no idea how we managed to get this far, but we gotta keep going, because now we're officially on the long journey to 1K. Stupid. I mean, 10K. <laughs> we already made it to 1K. I have a room temperature IQ. Not only did we reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, but it is also my birthday today. I'm 20 years old. On the real note, thank you guys all so much for everything you guys have done for me. It is insane that we actually managed to get this far within a few months. So, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you six mods about horses that you probably miss on Skyrun's PS4 mod market. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. Off we go! Yes! The first mod is called Dark Horse Raven. This is basically going to take Shadowmere's skin and basically clone it and just make this really, really nice looking dark-like horse. Unfortunately, Shadowmere is like one of the only horses that attacks people for some reason, and I don't like that. But Raven just is a nice dark horse she I've always preferred darker colors over lighter colors as you can see in my armor I just look so much more badass with this horse than any other horse in any way so but yeah Raven is a nice horse she looks dope and she has got to be probably one of my favorite mods for horses just because she's got a nice simple color a nice simple color and she's a nice simple horse Definitely a great mod. If you like darker horses, give this one a shot. The next mod is called Summon Follower Horses. What this mod is going to do is it's going to allow you to actually give your followers a horse. You can go up to this lady who will be selling all of the options for your horse. You simply go look at the sales and all of the things should be right here. I think, right? Yeah, here it is. So you can go for no saddleback reins, no saddleback black and white, you could do just about any other horse that you want, and this will only work for a person that has one follower, not multiple. So this will allow you to change the saddles, change the color of the reins, and just about anything else. I think this mod is actually pretty cool because this will literally allow you to be more immersed in your game. You could literally tell your followers to ride the horse, and once they get off it, the horse will run away, or try to run away. The horse will run away and then basically when you get on your horse next time the horse will spawn somewhere randomly and it'll run to the follower. In my case it's completely random because I have fucking 20 of them but if you're a normal person you have one follower or maybe two the horse will just run up to one of your followers and your follower will get on the horse and you can ride around together. You'll just have to wait a little bit and that will be it. Definitely give this mod a shot if you want to ride horses with your follow. The next mod is called Summonable Retextured Horses. What this mod is going to do is it's going to make a bunch of different textured horses summonable in the game. You can find this in this under this tree in the Falk Reef graveyard. So I just want to make sure you get a good look at which one it is. It's the one where you go right from the path and you make a left and it's right here because, I don't know, it's a bit of a random spot. So we have all of these horses, we are gonna go take a look at all of them. So let's go. So the first two we have are Dark Fury and Dragon Slayer's War Horse. So let's do Dark Fury. Jeez, that saddle looks really cool. These horses will stay here for 200 and I mean 2,700 seconds. I gotta be honest. This looks really pretty cool. This really does look cool. The only thing I'd say I don't like about this is the, the jaw piece right here. But other than that, the saddle looks really dope. Next we have the war horse. Let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness! Well, I think that this horse would do really good for your playthrough if you're role-playing as Satan, but in all honesty, I think this horse looks menacing. I think that's the point of this, but Jesus Christ. 
take a look at this monster here. He's all bloodied up. He doesn't have much fur on his head or his face or really anywhere. He just looks like he's just been fucked up. That is one tough looking horse. Gotta be honest. If you're role playing as Satan, this is definitely the perfect horse for you. Next we have Ember. Oh, that one looks nice. I kind of like the saddle. The way the saddle looks. Yeah, this one looks kind of nice. Next we have Fire Fury. Ooh, I know a lot of people are going to like this. Yep. That's probably going to be the winner. A lot of people are going to like this one. That's for sure. This one looks fucking dope. I feel like Jazargo would really, really fit the picture on this one. Where is he? Jazargo. I need you to I need you to do something for me. Jazargo, get on this horse. What are you doing? Jazargo, you're an idiot. I gotta be honest, so far this is the best looking horse. Not a doubt about it. This is definitely the best looking horse. The white and the orange and the blue go. What do you want? I ran into some goblins in the woods not long ago. Yeah. The color combo and the color scheme is just great. I gotta be honest. Definitely the best horse on the on the on the list so far. Now we got its opposite. We've got the ice horse. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh jeez. Damn, that one looks pretty cool too. Once again, I think Jazargo would look good on this horse, but we're not gonna test it this time because. He's apparently horse phobic. He doesn't he doesn't like horses apparently. I will say that this this horse is really really nice looking, but I would recommend to turn down the brightness a little bit. But other than that, definitely a really nice looking horse, got to be honest. And then finally we got Tundra horse. Let's see if this one trumps every single one of them so far. Oh, that one actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, no, I'd have to be honest. I think the fire horse and this one are the best. Any texture issues? No, no texture issues at all. I gotta be honest, yeah, no texture issues. So the tundra horse, the ice horse, and the fire horse are probably the best ones, at least in my opinion they are. Because they don't have that little, like, box-like square on their jaws. But if you like the other two, then definitely give this mod a shot. Because this gives you so many new options and so many new horses that are completely different from the game. It's really, really cool. I gotta be honest. I think I like the... I think I like the ice horse the best. The fire horse is cool, but I like ice more than fire, because, yeah... I always prefer cold weather to hot weather, so I like the ice horse better. But all of them look really cool, so definitely give this mod a shot. This mod is called Horses Ragdoll Humanoids. And what this mod is going to do is it's going to make it so horses will actually use their weight and they will fling people all over the place. Horses will now just fling people all over the place because that is exactly what would happen if if met with getting kicked by a horse. What the f Definitely one of the more realistic horse mods. You should definitely check it out. What the fuck? Well, we, we're dealing with triplets here. What the fuck? We're dealing with triplets. I need to use your cooking pot, so I'm gonna have to just... I'm gonna have to just kill you real quick. Okay, so the next mod requires a cooking pot, which is why I came over here. 
but I did not expect to run into five identical twins. All in the same profession. Either this is some sort of crime family, or somebody's parents have some explaining to do. The next mod is called Tweaks Invoke Molly. And I need a, I need an apple for this. Hold on, I need to go food shopping. Tell me there is not one apple around here somewhere. Come on. Oh, there we go. One red apple. So you're just going to go to a cooking pot and you're going to use your red apple to summon and make the spell. Yeah, you go to the books, you do that. Once you're done with that, you go to Tweaked Invoke Molly in the Conjuration section and bada bing bada boom. You got yourself an, imperi an imperial looking horse. Which, actually, now that I think about it, might be General Tullius' horse from the start of the game, without the logo. This is a pretty nice looking horse, I gotta say. Oh, and she's pretty fast. She's a pretty fast looking horse. I'm just gonna run over the Sanquiplets, because... That's cursed. But yeah, this is a very nice looking horse. Very simple mod. It's a dud mod, so it doesn't have to have any specific place in the load order. And it's very easy to make. Very easy to make, very easy to use, and the horse will stay with you permanently. So, yeah. Definitely give this mod a shot, because it's a nice looking horse. It's not a bad looking horse at all. The High King's Court needs a jester. Not me. No. Not Cicero. Oh, Thank you very much. Don't even think about it. <laughs> I love that one. Right, the first cousin killed. Right here in solitude, I feel nothing but shame. With no greater honor than to serve. Are you serious about enlisting speak to Legate Ritter in Castle Down? All right then. Oh, somebody help! 